Hey guys, it's Laurie from Cooks Grow Up Craft and I've got another book video for you today. This one is all about the books that we are going to be reading during our Community Helpers themed Kids School Week. So I got the idea to do a community helpers theme from Pinterest. There are a lot of mommy bloggers and educators online who are sharing some of their favorite fall school themes. And so one of the ones that I thought would be perfect was community helpers, especially during this time of coronavirus, when we are celebrating so many local heroes in the community from healthcare workers to doctors, dentists, delivery truck drivers, teachers. There are so many people who are local heroes, you know, real life superheroes, if you will. So I really wanted to take the time to introduce some of those people to my daughter. In an ideal world, I think we would probably like bake cookies and deliver them to our local fire station and those firefighters there. But probably because of COVID, I think we might just color some pictures and mail them in just to let them know we're thinking of them. So on to the books. These are what we're going to be reading this week. A classic, Berenstein Bears. I grew up reading Berenstein Bears books. I don't recall reading this one, but this is called The Berenstein Bears on the Job. And it just introduces the kid characters in the book as well as the kid readers to a variety of different jobs that people do around town. So it looks like there's gonna be some construction workers is who they're meeting here in the book on the front cover. The back of it says so many kinds of work to do, so much to look forward to. So we've got police, excuse me, police officers, a little doctors. What is that called? Do they even still wear those anymore? I don't know. Firefighter hat. Um, I'm not sure what that one is, but you know, like trash workers, um, their window washers here, or people who put up the billboards. So yeah, just, you know, kind of a fun little story, just introducing a variety of different people and the different jobs that they do. This one's a little more specific. It's Biscuit Visits the Doctor. So in this one, we are talking specifically about going to the doctor. Um, not only is it a way to introduce doctors, or I guess in this case, veterinarians and what they do, it's also a way to help kids face their fears of going to the doctor as they see that Biscuit goes to the doctor and ends up having a good experience. The doctor is very nice. There's nothing to be scared of. Then little kids might say, oh, okay, well, if Biscuit the dog can do it, then so can I. And I love books like that that are all about just empowering kids and um, helping them work through some of the things that might scare them. Pete the Cat is a favorite in our house, and this is Pete the Cat Firefighter Pete. So again, another specific one. So this one we're talking about firefighters. Um, and actually a really great way for me to introduce firefighters to my daughter is through her aunt and uncle. They are volunteer firefighters um, in a different state. And again, this is uh, something where we might do something specific where like uh, we color a picture for firefighters, write them a letter and send it to them. Um, or maybe we can do something with our hose outside if the weather is nice and pretend to put out our own fire. So. I think having uh, this kind of this kind of day really lends itself well to a lot of different uh, activities, as well as reading this really cute book about Pete the Cat as a firefighter. We've actually gotten the opportunity to tour our local fire station when they do the Easter Bunny breakfast or uh, breakfast with Santa Claus every year. Um, sometimes they open up the the rest of the fire station. So one year, uh, I think it was after Easter, we actually got to go through and see all the the fire trucks that they had, and they actually let us sit in a fire truck, which is really cool. And um, there's a neighboring town that also does a touch a truck event every year. They didn't do it this year because of coronavirus, but fire trucks are there and ambulances are there, school buses, all kinds of big vehicles. The kids can get inside, they can push all the buttons and just experience what it's like to be inside one of these vehicles, which I think is another great way. If your town does something like that, you could sort of theme the community helpers week to that. It might've already happened in the summer. Maybe they postponed it. It's going to happen in the fall. I don't know, but that's just something to think, to keep in mind for maybe this year, next year, future years, if you have multiple kids and you're going to be kind of recycling some of this curriculum with your other kids as they get older. One of my favorite places to go, the dentist. So we're gonna read Vera Goes to the Dentist. Um, my child does not have a fear of the dentist. And the last time we were there, they actually sat her in a chair like this and used an electric toothbrush and she did amazing. But it's still really great to kind of 
introduce her to the dentist and other people's experiences with the dentist. We actually didn't go in for her spring checkup because of coronavirus. And I'm hoping we can get in for the fall because I really hate to neglect her dental health, but I know that the dentist is doing the best that they can and they're trying to get people in that they had to postpone or cancel back from the spring. They actually weren't taking little kids back then because, or when they did reopen, because of all the PPE equipment that the dentists have to wear, they thought it was gonna be too scary for the little kids. So I'm hoping that things maybe get a little bit better as we get into October and we can reschedule our appointment or at least get in one time this year for her dental cleaning. Um, so anyway, we're going to read the book, Vera Goes to the Dentist, and then we're actually going to do a couple of dental activities, um, playing dentist with Play-Doh and doing like tooth extractions, which I think is going to be kind of silly. Uh, so that's just one little hands-on activity that you can do for your dentist day. This next book is Officer Buckle and Gloria, and it is about a police officer and a dog. I think kids love dogs, and if they are not familiar, if they've never like met a police officer, this is a great way to introduce them to what police officers do, and they have really cool dogs. Sometimes the dogs help them out and solve cases. So I think this looks like a beautiful illustrations, um, just from the look on the cover. And here they are. It looks like they're performing in a circus. So I wonder what happens. I wonder what kind of case they're on. Um, so yeah, just kind of a fun little a fun little book about uh, police officers. And again, I'm not sure specifically what we what kind of activities we have. We might just talk about the, what police officers draw the type of cars they drive. Uh, we've got a bingo game, we've got a rolling graph game about the community helpers. So lots of different ways to incorporate um, the different people in the community and what they do with some like STEM activities. And the last book we're reading is a Richard Scary book. Now there was actually a specific book that I was looking for and I can't think of the title of it, but my library didn't have this, but they did have Richard Scary's Busiest People Ever, which seemed like it was kind of the same thing. Um, so this is just about all the different jobs that people do to keep busy. So we've got, you know, a baker, we've got a clockmaker. This book is kind of old. Um, we've got a toy shop, a toy store owner, somebody selling hot dogs down here, the milkman, the book is really old. Um, a musician. So lots of just kind of introducing her to all, well, not just um, local community heroes, but also like just any type of profession. There are so many things. I really want her to know that there are so many things that she can be when she grows up. It doesn't have to be um, the basic things that people talk to her about all the time. The thing that I always think is fascinating are all the jobs that people have when you watch the movie credits. Like who knew what that job was when they went to college? Like what are these positions and how did you find out about being this this person, you know? So I just really want to expose Madaro to a lot of different professions so that she has a, a wider realm of possibilities of things that she can do. And even if it's something that's not, uh, or that doesn't fit into a specific category, um, at least we can, you know, help her express herself and figure out ways to pursue that profession, whatever it may be, whatever, we'll, we'll find where it fits and the type of classes that she should take in high school and college to prepare for that profession. So um, yeah, there are lots of ways that people can be busy for jobs. So that's our community helpers book theme list. Um, we've got a lot of different activities that we're going to be doing thanks to websites from like Modern Preschool, um, Education.com, even OrientalTrading.com. It has a fun 365 where you can get free coloring pages and those have been like amazing for us right here at home. My daughter loves coloring pages right now. Um, if you want to find out more great ideas, I will have my Community Helpers Kids School Pinterest board pinned below. Um, and you can also just follow me on social media so you can see all the other fun activities that we are doing throughout the week. So all those links are below. And if you have some great books that you think would be fun for a Community Helpers theme at your kids' school or even at real school, homeschool or real school, whatever, um, leave those suggestions below. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Happy reading. Thank you.